Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe, comment, and press the notification button. Today, I want to discuss something that is uh, common these days, uh, and that is uh, people saying parents in Africa should not make their children their, their retirement plan. Uh, this has been something I've heard many times, uh, but I did not particularly uh, care about it until I got a... Uh, the same message from a pastor in the church who who was preaching in the church and said that parents in Africa should make adequate plan for their retirement, that it is wrong for parents in Africa to make uh, their children their retirement plan, that when children grow up, they have their family to face, they have their plans for their self, for themselves rather, and that uh, parents should, as they train their children, they should make a uh, retirement plans for themselves as it is done in Europe and in America. But I, I found that a very, very uh, uh, uncomfortable. I, I wasn't comfortable with that. So that is why I want to uh, discuss it and make a comparison between a situation in African countries and a situation in, in our Western world. No, uh, the life of a child begins when a, a child is born. In Africa, from uh, prenatal, antenatal, and to postnatal. Parents pay. The mother we have to pay. The father we have to pay. The hospital bills. Everything we have to be paid for by the by, by the parent of the child. And of course, you know that in many African countries, the hospital bills alone uh, are something that uh, we you, parents need to work hard, hard, hard for to 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 save enough money to see the. Uh, mother through prenatal, antenatal, and postnatal. But in Europe, in America, it is not like that. <clears throat> as long as you have your insurance, you can walk into any hospital and you'll be taken care of. In fact, in cases where uh, patients, in this case, the mother, the pregnant uh, woman, does not even have insurance, they believe it is the right of every human being to access a health facility. So even if they don't have insurance, health insurance, they will still access uh, facilities and services in hospital and they will be taken care of. The only thing they can do is uh, maybe after, after the uh, the child is born and the, the mother uh, allowed to go home, this child from the hospital, they may make a plan uh, where or how uh, the parent of the new baby will be uh, offsetting the bees gradually. And in some cases, they will just uh, allow them to go because they believe Health services is the right for every human being. In many cases in uh, Africa, take Nigeria for example, there are cases, many, many cases where uh, a woman will be delivered of uh, a child and because she cannot afford to pay the bill, she will be detained with the baby in the hospital until she's uh, able to, uh, to pay the hospital bill. What I'm trying to emphasize here is that in Africa, parents struggle from prenatal, antenatal, and to the postnatal period to pay the bills. In Europe, in America, it's not like that. It's almost free. As long as uh, you live in those countries or in those continents, they believe it is your right. You have every right to to access uh, health services. And even some people, as I said, who do not even have insurance, you still have the right to access hospital. There are many cases where people don't even, even immigrants, People seeking asylum, people who are homeless, they, it is their right. That is what they believe. It is your right to, to, to be taken care of at Y. So in this case, you cannot compare what an average parent uh, goes through in childbearing to what an average uh, uh, Western uh, woman uh, goes through. They are not the same. Government is there to take care of you when you are in Europe or in America. That is one. Let us see schools. In America and Europe, people still attend government schools, which uh, are free. In fact, children, students are given food, they are given lunch. In some cases, breakfast and lunch in school. In many African countries, it's not like that. Parents that are serious in most African countries, or who know the value of education in most African countries, what do they do? They send their children to private schools. I'm not saying there are no private schools in Europe and in America, but they are not common. It is for the exclusively rich people. In, uh, in Africa, as long as you, uh, 
you are serious about the education of your children. What you do is to send them to private school, which costs a lot of money. Many parents will have to borrow to see their children to to school. There are cases where people, parents, we have to stay, uh, sell their properties to see their children through school. In Europe, in America, it's not like that. Education, going to school, is your right. And they must go to school. Children must go to school. In fact, if you do not uh, take your children to school, or your children are not going to school regularly, the school authorities will need to see you at home and find out. In Africa, it's not like that. Parents struggle and struggle to raise money to send their children to school. And that is uh, elementary or uh, high schools. What about in colleges and universities? In Europe, in America, there are grants, there are scholarships, there are loans people can access to go through school. There are people who are too clone uh, that I know that uh, out the 10 years after, they are still paying the loan because they... Uh, make it so easy that uh, you can pay gradually and even years that you can claim that you do not make enough money to pay back your loan. They will still allow you. But in Africa, you send your children to school, to colleges, pay every money. So in most cases, from birth to by the time you finish colleges, by the time you finish a secondary school, those are the years that most parents are active in their careers. And those are the time they are spending large bulk of their money, sending their children to school, raising their children. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, it is very, very difficult to raise children from birth in Africa compared to in Europe or in America. When children are born in Europe, in America, the parents are given uh, benefits. For example, they believe that, which is a fact that whenever you have a child, there's an additional finances to the family. So what, what does the government do? Government will help the family by giving the, uh, the parent baby needs, like baby milk, baby food, uh, diapers, and stuff like that to his the pay, financial pay from the family. In Africa, it's not like that. You buy everything. Government is almost irresponsible in this area when it comes to helping people in uh, in this area in Africa. So parents need to struggle and struggle to raise children in Africa. So when you raise your children this way, when you struggle through life to raise your children, to keep them in school, to pay for their school fees, to pay for their head, all these things, you are spend a fortune to raise your children to a standard in uh, Africa. But in Europe, in America, it's not like that. In fact, in most uh, uh, states in the United States of America, as long as a child is 18, it's allowed under the law to have a driver's license. He can drive, she can drive at uh, 16. In most cases, in Africa, it is 18. In Europe, in America, at the age of 16, there are certain kinds of jobs uh, kids of 16 years are allowed to do, officially, legally. And one of the conditions given to employers across the United States is that the rights of every person employed must be made known to him. What do they do? They have a kind of a, like a poster which they say, Post conspicuously, let everybody know their rights. So a 16-year-old officially, legally can get some job to help himself, to help herself in Europe, in America. In Africa, it's not like that. There are many graduates, university graduates, who cannot find any to, anything to do. So by 16, by 18, kids in Europe, kids in America are already uh, easing the pains, the financial pains on their parents. Their parents are not fully responsible for their, their financial needs. In Africa, it is not like that. Parents, we need to see you through school. You, I can hardly get any kind of job that is decent, that can give you enough money for you to do at the age of uh, 16, 18, when full-grown adults who are graduates hardly find anything to do. So by the time uh, 
children finish even colleges in Africa, they are still financially dependent on their parents because the jobs are not there for them to do. In America, for instance, by the time you become an adult and you don't find anything to do, what do you do? You apply for no employment. Government will give you something. So your parents are at ease. Your parents do not need to bother about you because the government is there for you to help you to live your life. In Africa, it's not like that. So it is easier, easier, easier in America. By the time uh, people are around 24, they are, all, they are married. They have started their life. In Africa, by 24, you are just finishing universities. And you cannot get a job immediately. So your parents will still need to feed you for three, four, five years before you can get a reasonable job, before you can establish that. From that to by the time you are 25, if you are lucky to get a job, that is 25 solid years, active years of your parents devoted to you. It's not that right in Europe. It's not that right in America. So when people in Europe when people in America have the mindset that they can plan their life exclusive of their children when they retire, it is understandable. In Africa, it is not that you serve your children, so to say, from day one of their life to about 25, 26, 27 years, which is almost the lifespan of your career. And that is why People in Africa, parents in Africa, need to be taking care of their parents. Another thing I need to let you that in the US, in Europe, there are places called homes. Homes are places where people who are old are kept to be taken care of by government. In Nigeria, it's not like that. In Africa, it's not like that. You must take care. Family members must take care of their old, old ones. In New York City alone, only in New York City alone, there are over 300, they call it, they call it older adult centers. These are centers like a, a creation, a recreational centers, a kind of uh, what you call kindergarten in Africa, where you take children to in the morning and bring them in the afternoon. These are centers in the, in the city of New York where older people can go and play and interact, all expenses. On government all expenses of government so they don't need to say they don't need much of their children around to take care of them government is always there their retirement uh pension is paid adequately is paid regularly in nigeria in africa many of the retirees don't get their dues so they need as they are growing they are training their children because they know a time will come when uh they, they will be invulnerable so that their children can take care of them. In Europe, it's not like that. In America, it's not like that. So we cannot just say, uh, because in Europe, in America, uh, parents don't depend on their children at their age. So in Africa, we should think that way. No, our environment is different. Our environment is not there in the environment. Government is almost irresponsible in Africa when it comes to taking care of people. But in Europe, it is your right. There are certain things government must do for you. You have, they have no choice. Governments do have, have no choice. They must do for you. They must provide. Okay. Another thing is in most African countries, power supply is poor. You need to buy generator. You need to buy fuel to power it. This is making people poorer. Roads are not good. Security is poor. All these things are natural right of an American. He does not need to plan for all this. That is government responsibility. So by the time you work in America, you can plan the next 10 years. You can plan the next 20 years. You can plan the next 30 years. You can save gradually. Somebody said, if you save 10% of your income, uh, an average of like 50,000 a year, if you save 10% like that, by the time you retire, you have 1.2 million in the U.S., in Africa, it doesn't work that way. Why? Because prices of goods can change anytime. You, they have a lot of things you need to do. And again, one thing we need to know that in Africa, we live a communal system. There is, only, there is always one family member 
who, who, who is not a member of your nuclear family that you need to take care of. In Am Americans don't give people money the way we give in Africa. So these are the factors that make parents to look up to their children at their whole day. Because governments are not functional in Africa. They don't take that into reckoning. You are, so to say, you are on your own. So we cannot just compare American standard to uh, African standard. It is be wrong. It will be a misplaced uh, priority to say, uh, as parents are growing, they should make a retirement plan for themselves. When all their resources are devoted to basic things that government should provide, education, parents have to pay. In Europe, in America, they don't pay. Children themselves can access loan. They can take grant. They can take scholarship. That does not uh, uh, exist in Africa. Benefits. Immediately you have a child in America. There are benefits you get as a parent. More money. They give you money like stipend to help you. They give you uh, baby needs, milk, diaper, and stuff you need. You have free health. You have securities. There are everything is made. The budget of your family, most of them, the greater percent is on government. But in Africa, you take your own budget, you even add that of government to yourself. So by the time you finish your career life, about 35 years, you have exhausted all your financial resources to make sure that your children are good or your family is good. So there's nothing really uh, to fall back on. There's nothing really to fall back. So the only thing you can fall back on is the strength and the financial strength of your children which they must take. So in my own opinion, it would be very, very wrong to say uh, parents uh, should, should, should not uh, uh, take their children as their retirement plan. What about the investment the parents have made all these years? The investment parents made in Africa on their children. Americans don't make such investments on their children. They push that to government. Or let me say, government take uh, takes up such responsibility. But in Africa, we take up the responsibility of ourselves as parents. So, children must pay back as as early as they hand money, they must pay back to take uh, their parents. So, that is my opinion. I don't think I, uh, I've, I've uh, digressed too much from the reality in Africa. But if you feel uh, there are other ways or you feel different from what I have just said, you can put it in the comment section. Let's see how we can charge this out. But I believe this is what works in Africa, and this is what you should be uh, sticking on to. We shouldn't copy everything, uh, copy and paste from Europe or in Africa. But if you feel different, as I said, you can put it in the comment section. Let's see how we charge it out. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for seeing this uh, uh, video. Next time, come around and let us discuss another interesting topic that is good for the family. Thank you. Subscribe and comment.